managerial accounting, over and under applied manufacturing overhead. Now you may recall from an earlier video that actual manufacturing overhead costs are accumulated in a control account, a temporary control account called manufacturing overhead control. While applied overhead, as we've just seen in the last couple of videos, is charged to work in process inventory. And of course, as the product is completed, the costs flow out of work in process inventory into finished goods inventory. And when the product is sold, the costs flow into cost of goods sold expense. Now, what happens when actual overhead costs that are in manufacturing overhead control differ from the amount of applied overhead, which remember is based on estimates. Well, we have to do something with that difference. And we also have to keep in mind that actual costs are what ultimately need to be reported as part of the cost of goods sold and also part of the work in process inventory if the difference is large enough between these two amounts. So the first thing we have to do at the end of the period is we have to compare the actual overhead with the amount of overhead that was applied and find out just how much that difference is. Well, let's say for the sake of illustration that in this case our actual overhead which got charged to manufacturing overhead control totaled $493,000. And let's also say that for all of the jobs that the business worked on during the period, that they incurred $195,200 machine hours during the period. Now remember that our overhead, our predetermined overhead application rate was $25 per hour. So 195,200 machine hours times $25 per machine hour is going to give us so the total amount of overhead that was applied to work in process inventory during the period is $488,000. So the difference between the actual overhead and the applied overhead is a total of $5,000. And since applied overhead is less than actual overhead, that is called under applied. Manufacturing overhead. Now, let's suppose for, for a second that instead of actual overhead being greater than applied overhead, that we had had the opposite situation. Let's say that our overhead, our actual overhead was actually a total of 480,000. And same amount of machine hours at the same predetermined rate, so we'd still be applying 488,000. In that case, the applied overhead would be greater than our actual overhead. So when applied is greater than actual overhead, we have, in this case, it would be $8,000 of over applied manufacturing overhead. So at the end of the period we compare what was applied to work in process for all jobs with the actual overhead cost incurred that were recorded in the manufacturing overhead control account and we identify the difference as either under applied when applied is less than actual or over applied when the applied is greater than the actual amount of overhead cost. Now in the next video we'll take a look at how we deal with that under-applied or over-applied overhead.